Cindy from Quilters Covered again. Purse, purse Party Part 3, I think, is where we are now. So I'm going to show you some cute little things in a second, but I haven't shown you guys these yet, and I have to. This was our bestseller from Purse Party last year. It is called the Sweet Retreat Bag. It is an excellent one to use a jelly roll. That's what we did here. Sandy made this for a trip that she went on. You can also do it all out of one fabric and she shows you in the pattern. So then a customer said, well, do you have the baby sister and the little sister? And I said, well, sure I do. And I looked them up really fast and now of course we do have them. So this one is called the baby sister. So the bag structure is the same, just smaller size. The little sister goes right in between the two and she's great for a diaper bag. Um, baby also comes with a nice companion pattern for the wallet that's included in with it. So I like these. I think that the binding shows up much better on this one, though the structure is the same on both. So I just want to show you those guys real fast because they're really nice. And the last Annie's that I missed as well, I see. This one is Serenity. And in some of the bags, we use Texture Magic. Texture Magic is a fabric that um, you put on the back of a fabric, you stitch, and this one is just stitched around the motifs. Then you put an iron to it and it shrinks it down to size. Then you cut it out for your patterns. So very lovely touch on this one. This one's a really pretty bag. Nice little pocket in the back. Okay, so little stuff. Oh, no, can't little stuff quite yet. Dang, it's all the good ones. So this one is Nancy's bag. So this is a little bit littler stuff. Another great crossbody. The bag is adjustable. Um, I think Joyce made her straps a little bit bigger than the pattern calls for um, because we weren't able to get the smaller hardware, but we can now. I like this one a lot. A few little zippers. So if you're scared of zippers, this one's a great one to start with. The techniques are wonderful. But there's a couple of really fun little pockets to hold little fun stuff. So it's a great one if you are going on a trip or you just want a little smaller bag and not take all the stuff that you normally do. And that one is Nancy's bag. So throw that up here. Okay, so we're going to move on to a couple other fun ones. And this is the Margot Wallet bag. This is probably um, my favorite. I love the shape. I love the very nice hardware. And so when you open it up, here's where your wallet. So you don't, it's kind of a bag and a wallet all in one. Credit cards or whatever needs to go there. And you've got some good pockets and everything in the back. The hardware is magnificent. And you, she has options to do that little contrast bottom on there, which I think adds a lot. So good structure to this bag. I use Decorbond in there, so it really does stand up just beautifully. And I think it's just a cute bag. So the instructions on this are good, but not as clearly written as some of the other patterns. She doesn't really give you quite all the cutting instructions all in one spot. You kind of get started and then you cut a little bit more. So it was great. It just is not, you know, like a lazy girl pattern where really the structure is quite as good. But the finished product is so great, you got to give it a shot. All right, how about just something fun? Pin cushion panache. Not a real purse, it's a pin cushion. We've got the crushed walnut shells, a little place for your scissors in the back. Just a cute little one as well. Okay, a couple more and then we'll see what we got. So the Diva Frame Wallet last year was very popular. The hardware is lovely. You open it up, credit cards, zipper, place for everything. So this year we've added the Diva Frame Wallet. Same type hardware, a little bit more fun outside, but when this one opens up, now we've got a great inside to our wallet. So extra compartments, lots of goodies in here. And then the professional tote. But this is the mini professional tote. So those of you that have made the larger one, you know that it's not a hard pattern, but there are a lot of steps to go. One of my favorite features on this one, though, is the inside pockets. So this center pocket is perfect for an iPad, for a Kindle, for your devices, because it's well protected. You've got lots of other pockets in here. It's just a very nice, structured, place for everything bag that is well worth the effort. And then again, that where you got something to hold on to, and then you can pull. Beautifully done bag. 
All right, let me see what other cute things. Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys about the Crafty Tote. So this is again called the Crafty Bag, and it is just a fun one to do for supplies, maybe knitting stuff, whatever you wanna put in here. This is not necessarily a purse, but it's part of our fun stuff that we talked about. All right, so, and again, the foam in this one. And I think that we will call that section good and come back then with the little tiny stuff. So I'll see you back in a minute.